The Indian Air Force plans to raise two new Tejas Mark 1A squadrons each year starting from 2026. A boat carrying 142 Rohingya refugees was intercepted by Indian coastal security agencies near Andaman and Nicobar Islands. All of them have been taken to Port Blair, and local administration is waiting for further instruction from the central government. Central intelligence agencies are intensifying their efforts to locate a government employee working in the financial department of Northern Railway, who is suspected of submitting forged medical bills to facilitate funding for ISIS module. US military's top secret research facility DARPA has started development of drone swarms that can fly indefinitely, which will be recharged by firing a laser at them from ground-based lasers. Two drone packets containing arms and cash were seized in a joint operation by the army and the police from a village near the line of control. The Indian Navy will commission INS Mfal stealth guided missile destroyer at Mumbai's naval dockyard tomorrow, that boasts a range of advanced weaponry and sensors including BrahMos extended range supersonic missile. Dassault Aviation is laser-focused on finalizing the crucial orders for 26 Rafale Marine for the Indian Navy, and the team is keen to finalize the deal before the end of January 2024, as this deadline aligns with the credit authorization granted by the Indian Parliament, ensuring funding and expeditious delivery of the aircraft. Delaying the contract signing beyond this crucial date could lead to complications, and potentially jeopardize the project timeline. The rollout of first Tejas Mark II aircraft is expected by mid-2025, but the rollout might occur before all critical systems are fully integrated into the aircraft. This approach for an earlier rollout raises concerns about potential delays in the first flight, and experts have said that the first flight could take anywhere between six months and a year after the rollout, depending on the integration complexities encountered. After the sale of Akash missile system to Armenia, Bharat Dynamics Limited has said that it is now in advance talks with another undisclosed country for its acquisition. While the exact identity of the interested nation remains under wraps, reports suggest that Oman has concluded initial rounds of discussions, paving the way for deeper negotiations, and both India and Oman are eager to sign a contract by early 2024. Hindustan Aeronautics has fast-tracked its utility helicopters maritime program to provide the Indian Navy with 60 helicopters tailored for coastal and offshore operations. The rollout of the prototype is scheduled for October 2024 and will achieve full operational readiness by 2025. It will have a boosted payload capacity of 600 kg for deck operations, and foldable two-segment blades and modified upper control systems to minimize dimensions for facilitating easier deployment from onboard warships. Today's Top 3 Comments